Today, we're demystifying this mystical vegetable. We are putting the art in artichoke. My name is Gregory Llewellyn, and I'm the owner and head chef at Hearts Yard in Sydney, Australia. I'm going to be stepping out of my restaurant kitchen and into my home kitchen so that I can share some amazing things that you can try at home. Have you ever been strolling through the supermarket and passed by one of these prehistoric looking things? Today we're going to demystify this wonderful, wonderful vegetable, the globe artichoke. And people say, where is the choke? And I say the inside, and they say, what's the outside called? And I refer to it as the arty. We're gonna do a stuffed, baked artichoke. We're gonna cook it first in a flavorful corpoyon, which is a mixture of wine and herbs. And then we're gonna stuff it with some breadcrumbs, some smoked anchovies, and cheese, Parmesan Reggiano cheese. The stems of these are quite fibrous. You can eat them. We're gonna start by removing the bottom. Inside this stem, you'll have this sort of white bit that's all edible but today we're just gonna peel the bottoms and when you start you should have a little bit of water acidulated with a little bit of lemon another really really neat tip is using vitamin C powder which you can get at your health food store when you buy your quinoa or your buckwheat and then we're gonna trim the top of the artichoke off thus revealing just the top of the choke and then leaving the arty we're gonna trim with scissors the outside of the leaves. These artichokes sometimes on the tips have these just painful thorns and they hurt like the dickens, so just be careful. We're gonna use our fingers to just massage the center of the artichoke out and we're just gonna go into the artichoke and scoop at the same time. See, that's the inside of the artichoke. So let's give it a quick dip in our water. We're gonna take a slice of lemon. We're gonna tie a bit of lemon onto the bottom. What we're gonna do next is start a broth or court bouillon as they call it with a bit of carrot onion and a bit of garlic throw in a bit of rosemary we're also going to throw in some thyme a couple cloves of garlic let's give them a smash peels and all doesn't matter we're just going to put a lid on that and put the heat up we're going to cook that for about two minutes so we need to add a bit of wine this is a bit of uh champagne that we had left over white wine champagne rosé sake if you have it doesn't matter we're going to add our booze add enough water just to cover these artichokes. So we're gonna put these in and we're gonna cook these for about 20 minutes. Next up for our stuffed artichokes, we're gonna do something super, super simple. A mixture of breadcrumbs, smoked anchovy, a little bit of cooked onion and some garlic, a myriad of herbs, and then we'll be able to stuff our artichokes that are cruising in the liquid right now. So we're just gonna start with a bit of onion, chopped, quite small. This knife is so fucking blunt. Small bits, big bits, it's all right. So we got a little bit of olive oil. Next, you're gonna get a bit of garlic, a couple of cloves, and we're gonna put in some herbs. I'm gonna fry these herbs in this oil. So we have some basil, we have a bit of oregano, some thyme. We're just gonna give this one slice through. Nice large pieces is all right. And listen to this, the snap, crackle, pop. Next, we have smoked anchovies. If you've never had these, these are the greatest thing on earth. You can get these in any sort of specialty shop. Let's go four, let's go five quick dice, chuck it in. You're not necessarily gonna taste fish, but what you're gonna taste is the salinity and this really lovely backdrop of flavor. It's like adding flavor enhancer 621, but with fish. And what we're gonna add is a bit of breadcrumb. This is Dale breadcrumb, I just did it in the blender. And we're gonna toast these crumbs in this olive oil. Look at these babies. Looks like something out of a 1970s cookbook. Our breadcrumb mixture is fully toasty. Look at the color, look at the hue of the breadcrumb. I'm just gonna pour this out. I'm just gonna take some parsley. And believe it or not, like the, the stems of parsley are super, super flavorful. I think I might have to get a new knife. Those go in. Even this mixture right here, if you had mozzarella cheese, or if you had a piece of baked fish, or if you had lamb, or whatever. We're gonna take some Parmigiano Reggiano. He's like the world's biggest grater with the smallest sort of thing. Makes no sense. We're gonna add a bit of feta. Crumble it up. Look at these babies. These smell awesome. Next thing we're gonna do is stuff these babies and we're gonna open them right up and pound that breadcrumb mixture right into them. And it seems like a laborious task, but it's not hard. You roll these out at a dinner party, people will say, who cooked them? Where'd you buy them? Just give them a pickup and you wanna stuff in the leaves on the outside because these bits will get crispier. I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil and sort of drench the top of these. Squeeze a lemon, because it doesn't matter if you wet the bread now, because it's gonna get crispy as hell in the oven. And we're gonna take a little bit of this broth and just shove it in the bottom. These artichokes will go into a preheated oven after 10 minutes, just wait. It's been 10 minutes since these artichokes have been in the oven. Look at these babies. Steamy, cheesy, bready, and stuffed with anchovy, just like grandma used to do. You're gonna love them.